What up, guys? We're going to play Donald Duck's Playground this morning. Uh, this was a game that I, I don't know. I, I love to play it. Uh, I guess this must be edutainment. I have to kind of look really hard to see how it's even educational, but then, you know, realizing that kids aren't that bright and they need to work some things out. I probably did learn some stuff from it. I guess I'll show you what I mean in just a moment. But yeah, let's uh, let's start playing. I'll play the advanced mode. I don't think I ever played advanced mode when I was a kid. Uh, I just realized I need to open up that window again. There we go. There we go. Uh, never played advanced mode as a kid, but I had a quick look at the instruction manual and it basically just said things are faster but you earn more money, which sounds perfect, so. I love how walks like a bobblehead. Okay, so on the right side of the screen we've got our jobs. So I'm gonna go work for the railroad. I think we'll do, because there's four jobs, I'll do, I don't know, I'll do a three minute shift each job, that way it'll be uh, about 12 minutes of work, buy some stuff, go play in the playground, and then I guess we'll be done, so three minutes. So this one you just pull and switches, Oops. and switches to get the train to go to the right place. So every time they get to the right place, you get money. How much money do I get for that? 45 cents. Duckburg, well, I'll just do the same thing again. Duck Corners, Duck Tropolis, Duck Landing, Duck Valley, Duck City, Duckville, Duck Town. <laughs> In case you're curious about the world building of uh, Donald Duck and DuckTales and all that. Ooh, perfect. Where'd he go in the duck town? Waddle, waddle, waddle. And then he waddled away. Waddle, waddle. Duck bill. Um, take that one and that one. This is, I kind of like it how fast this is. It's pretty fun. Should have done that more as a kid. So yeah. Um, I never really thought about this as a kid, but this would be educational because it would be getting you to do some like logic problem, like basic problem solving, like which switch do I need to pull to get this train to where it needs to go. And then it would reward you by basically you would make money faster. Like it didn't feel good when you're playing the game to like make, I don't know, 10 cents after playing for several minutes. But let's see where we're going, Duck Valley. Here it looks like I'll get about three dollars in three minutes, so sure, whatever. Duck landing. One thing that drives me crazy is I probably won't get another delivery in. And we'll see. So Duckburg, I'll need it to go all the way down there, and then there, okay. All right, let's see, 10 seconds. Oh no, I messed it up, so that doesn't work. We're not gonna get it. So if I hadn't been dumb, I would've made $3. Okay, well, let's Yep, and then you'd be learning some basic money sense just from all that. 
Uh, this is a toy shop. We'll do a three minute shift again. So, let's see here. So, you have to... Oh, you have to move the ladder first, okay. I think you lose money when you drop the toys and break them. Oh, I didn't realize there's another toy out. Uh, it's really hard to see these white ones, you guys. All right, and then I think I can make it. So the train will pass by. And when it does, it'll knock toys off the shelf. So I don't know what lesson we're teaching the kids there other than uh, trains make bad neighbors, but uh, <laughs> that's kind of cool. So we're, we're sorting them by uh, basically shape and color. We've got some that are similar. So the teddy bears and rabbits, they have to actually be a bit more distinguishing, right? So shape and color. And then um, and even uh, the fact that you have to move the ladder before you pick up the toy. Um, it's teaching them some procedural skills and um, executive function type stuff. So. I guess I shouldn't be judging this game that much because that's actually pretty decent for education. Like you might not think about that, but those are all things that are good for kids to be learning. I should know, I'm a teacher. Actually, it doesn't mean I would know as a teacher because teachers are not all smart or good at their job, but I try to be one of the good ones, so. And then something like this, especially at that time period, you know, I didn't know that I was learning. I was just trying to get money for Donald Duck, you know? Oh boy, this is not gonna work, is it? It's the bear. Run, Donald, run! Oh! Yeah, so you saw how that one fell down. And I think I lost some money. I didn't quite see, but I'm pretty sure I lost some money when it fell. So as the jobs go, this one's not very efficient. I made a lot more money on the train one. All right, so here's another one. So this one, you just catch the, what do I want to say, vegetables, fruit? You catch the produce and you drop it in the correct bin to get your money. Um, basic sorting skills and then also some uh, hand-eye coordination because you actually have to catch the thing. Oops. Oh, they are faster. Wow, the money is not good on this one. Hopefully it's, oh geez. I don't know, I didn't see if I lost money or not. This leveler throwing produce at the back of the truck. What? He started flipping out before it even hit the ground. See? I would have caught that. One of the hidden educational things that I learned as a kid was I would like drop the produce right on the edge of the hitboxes and like try to figure out where the hitboxes were. 
Not that I knew what hitboxes were called back then, but I'd be like, okay, where exactly can I drop the watermelon and they still accept it? He's cussing me out, man. Like right here, I'd be like, mm. he gets mad because it got caught in the middle. So I'd go like, it's a little bit over, like there. Nope, he didn't like that either. <laughs> so I tried to figure out how exact I had to be to be considered a successful drop in the right box. So far the train has been the money maker. It's also, in my opinion, kind of like like the easiest and I kind of kind of the funnest. I like pulling switches. I don't know, like it's a little kid inside me. Like, pull a switch and see the train go somewhere else. It's pretty fun. Oops. Jeez. These guys are just throwing this produce. Holy moly. I don't know what that is. Is that a potato? Who throws a single potato? But like, what else could it be but a potato? Yeah, so far the train's been the money maker. job. We'll go work for the airport. Alright, one last three minute shift. It's kind of cool too. Um, wow, these are fast. It's kind of cool too that shows you like, oh, there's different jobs, you know. So, it's kind of interesting too, because you could go like back and forth like run back and forth like I want to maximize how many I can get or you could just wait for the letters to show up of the box you're standing next to like I'll just wait for the PSP so I don't have to run back and forth and that's a legit strategy at work okay so 90 cents in about 45 seconds <clears throat> Yeah, this may be a decent money maker. This is interesting because the uh, I'll do PSP, PlayStation Portable. Um, I have a bunch of PHLs, PHXs. It's not bad. Um, what was I thinking? The fact that things go faster in the train one, it's like it goes faster and you get more money. Well, that's good because if you make a mistake, the train has to come around again. But if it's coming around faster, then not as big of a problem. There's no PSP on this one. Just realize those might actually be um, airport codes, like Atlanta or something. I'm not sure they are. Just. Kind of interesting. Yeah, this has been the moneymaker, apparently. 
bunch of SLC. SLE, okay, we'll do one of those. SLC, SLE. Uh, I don't want to do PHX. We'll do that one though. SLE, SLE, SLC. And then the plane leaving interrupts everything else. So, 369, that was pretty good. So, yeah, don't do the produce job. Huh, wonder what that says. Are they trying to say that people who work in agriculture should, like, well, not should, but do make less money? You can actually make some pretty decent money packing um, packages and transportation hubs because you'd be part of the Teamsters Union, I think. And then uh, should make some decent money directing trains. I almost have $10. I don't think I ever had this much money when I was a kid. I don't have much patience. I'd do like one minute jobs. Let's see. Let's go on the five and ten. Or the five and dime. Oh. Slide. Wait, hold up. These are expensive. Hmm. I think they're more expensive too. So I'd make more money, but it's more expensive. Okay, well, I gotta have a train. Yep. So you gotta select them. Um, I hate that slide, it looks so weird. Yeah, that one's expensive. I'll get the rings and the toy horse. I think that's gonna clear me out. Oh, wait, gotta pay. Yeah, look at all that. Please pay for your purchases now. So I gotta put, oh, look at that. They didn't, um, they didn't ever cash out my quarters. So yeah, I have to give them the correct amount of money or overpay, just like it works in real life. So there's $7. 725 $8 $825 $875 $9 $9.25 $9.35 $9.45 $9.55 $9.50 $9.55 $9.55 $9.55 Huh, interesting. They finally gave a $5 bill. Okay. I lost count though, but I think that was it, wasn't it? Yeah. You paid $9.65. Please make change. So I have to give myself four cents. So yeah, this would have been one of the most educational parts. Ding, ding, ding. Thanks. Your purchases will be delivered. Hmm. All right, and um, that's it. I'll just guess. I guess I'll pop my head in here. So there's Mickey Mouse. Oops. I just want to leave. And then over here. Donald, not Donald, Goofy's selling this old tire for uh, way too much money. And it's spelled the British way, and I noticed the instruction manual is British, so how did I end up with this game? Do they have an American release too? Oh my gosh. Why would you deliver it to the second floor? All right, so you have to press F5 to move the items. And then, um, if you do want the stuff up there, you have to like get stairs or I don't you know, like a ladder or something. 
Oh, come on. Uh, move. Thank you. Okay, now let's play. I said let's play. Let's play. Alright, so I got Kiwi going on here. Press the button, and he plays! And then go over here, and press the button, and he plays! And then over here... <laughs> That's kinda funny. Okay, well that's basically it you guys. Um, you work, you buy stuff, your nephews go play with your stuff. The end. So, I don't know. As edutainment games go, I did not realize it was edutainment when I was a kid, so I guess it worked. Um, and it maybe did teach me a bit about money, because I remember being really confused and having to puzzle through how the, you know, how you paid for stuff, how much change you got, and all that sort of stuff. So it's quite possible this actually helped me. Um, I don't think I played it that often, but I also picked up things pretty quickly, so. But yeah, that's uh, Donald Duck's Playground. Hope you enjoyed. See you guys next time. Music's getting all weird back there.